Okay, good afternoon, everybody. This is that one guy getting started right away. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go over here to Frampton, and then we're going to go ahead and say that I had a lot of caffeine. Just kidding. I just felt like talking fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to Front. It is something urgent. We're going to warp. <sighs> Let's see. Um, we're going to come down here to the Lord Vessel. And yes, I am fully aware that you can actually just uh, warp down here by jumping down the hole. So we're going to offer up all the Lord Souls to the Lord Vessel. And that door opens up. So, let's see, what do I want to do here? I definitely do not need the Curse Bite Ring. Let's go with... what would be a smart ring? Flame Stone Plate. Uh, simply because Gwyn likes using his Fire Greatsword. So I'm not entirely sure how many attempts it's going to take to get through this, but uh, we will see. Anyways, I think I figured out what causes um, causes this game to uh, get all framey and get chunky frames is uh, the bloom. Any sort of bloom. It does not like bloom. So we're going to go ahead... But you know what Bloom you should watch? You should watch The Brothers Bloom. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good movie. Um, if you've never seen it. Oh, that was unfortunate. So there's five of these guys on the way to uh, the final boss fight with Gwyn. So let's stagger him and... Uh, let's, just go ahead and let's just go ahead and kill him. Normally I like fishing for the backstab. Uh, one thing that you'll notice in this entire playthrough is I didn't really do any parrying. That's in large part because this is what happens when I do the parry button. It's just a shield bash. Uh, anyways. So we're going to go ahead and... Just kill Mr. Greatsword here. And boom. Now, after coming down here enough times, you realize that you start getting really stupid. And you're like, hey, let's come down here. I'm going to use Solaire's help. That's going to be damn hard to do if I'm hollow. So yes, I'll admit it, I make mistakes. All right. So let's go ahead and get back up to 10 humanity just so that we get our strength bonus. Because I totally didn't just accidentally hit the wrong button and pop a humanity. Which, oh god, no, the humanity! Like I said, I don't care. I'm, I am set for humanity. All right, so kill into the first flame. Now, depending on how well this is received, I might make another Dark Souls series. Uh, I'm thinking about... I know I mentioned a Dark Cleric, and yeah, that might be kind of a fun build, but that's more of a dick move PvP build. Um, what I think might be fun is an idea that I called the Big Game Hunter. And uh, basically, all that is, you have to claim a prize from every boss that you fight, uh, except the Asylum Demon. Because, um, you can only get the, uh, hammer from him. And if I'm recording this, you don't want me just sitting there poking him a billion times in a row with a, uh, broken straight sword. So, yeah, I'm thinking about making a hunter with a focus on bows and, uh, like short swords and such like that. Light armor. So that I can get soul air in the fight against Gwyn. And, you know, I haven't really given any thought to it, but the idea is I can't just have their souls, and I can't pop any boss souls in this uh, proposed series. It would be, um, I have to go and I have to make a unique weapon out of their soul uh, in order to have, like, a trophy. So, like, uh, the gargoyles, I would get a tail axe, um, or maybe if they, like, dropped a halberd, I would put that in my trophy box. Uh, and that would just be the bottomless box. 
Uh, the Capper Demon, I don't really think there's a trophy to be had from him, which is unfortunate. All the demons are unfortunate that they don't have any trophies. Uh, the Soul of the Moonlight Butterfly, I'll get the uh, Crystal Ring Shield. The... And, you know, just, just fun stuff like that. Uh, so I will, you know, like, seek out bosses. Again, I could do the DLC. And if, like I said, this is well-received, and you guys want to see the DLC, and you want to see me try the DLC with a class that I'm not really familiar with, drop a comment. And preferably a like, but, you know, a comment. Yay! But, uh, yeah. So... Here we go. Down to the kiln of the first flame. So, one of the best things that you can do in order to maximize your soul air time is uh, kill these knights before you summon him. And they're not that hard. It's just a matter of fishing for a backstab. And maybe, you know, one extra stab somewhere in there so that your next backstab kills them. And it's a matter of cycling your camera. Then it's a matter of frame rate. And then it's a matter of 30 frames per second. Awesome. If anybody knows of a way that I could, like, uh, fix this little issue I've been having in this Let's Play, that'd be awesome. So the nice thing is, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could go back to the Lord Vessel and uh, get a level up. But... Nah, I'm okay. <clears throat> you know, I've never really looked up from here. So let's go ahead and grab Sunbro. And for anybody playing the game through the first time, do Solaire's side quest. Uh, that door that... I open. You need to be either plus two in the Chaos Servant Covenant, or you can Toxic Mist through there and kill that bug that way. Uh, just look it up online. There's a lot of good ways, and if you save him by joining the Chaos Servant Covenant, you're going to have to spend 30 humanity. Let me put it to you this way. 30 humanity is a very small price to pay to have Solaire uh, be a final boss fight summons. <sighs> okay, so here we go. Lord Wynn. This is going to get interesting. So, if I shut up a little bit during this fight... Okay, so... Okay, so, this is why we have Solaire. Because I need somebody else to, like, distract him. So I'm going to back up a little bit while Solaire comes in. So I can heal up. So really what I want to do is I want to keep the focus kind of on me. Now, Gwyn should go after Solaire. Okay, so... Oh, well, Solar's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Okay. I'm gonna keep Gwyn's focus on me. I would really wish that he would stop spamming those attacks. Uh, the lightning attacks, because uh, Gwyn is 100% resistant to lightning. Okay, so I'm going to need Solaire to maybe finish the job for me. At the very least, I should Estus up. There we go. 
So that was try number one on Gwyn, Lord of Cinder, and as you see, if you and Solaire sort of tag team him, super doable, even at very, very high soul level. Now, I didn't actually think about what ending I wanted. Hmm, the exit's right there. Nah, I'm gonna light myself on fire. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and let this cutscene play. Awesome, so this has been Legend of Lucia, Overpowered Souls, or what have you. This has been that one guy. Thank you very much for watching.